Good to see you today. Hope you're having a good day. Our passage today is going to, to come from where we left off yesterday, John and Peter running to the tomb. Our hymn is Christ the Lord is Risen Today. Christ the Lord is risen today, alleluia. Sons of men and angels say, alleluia. Raise your joys and triumphs high, alleluia. Sing ye hymns, thou earth reply, alleluia. Okay, let's look at our passage. John 20, and we read the first few verses yesterday as Mary comes and tells uh, she comes and she tells Peter, came to Simon Peter and the other disciple, that would be John, and they start running for the tomb. So they both ran together, verse 4. And the other disciple outran Peter and came to the tomb first. And he, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen cloths lying there, yet he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb, and he saw the linen cloths lying there. And the, and the handkerchief that had been around his head, not lying with the linen cloths, but folded together in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who came to the tomb first, went in also, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture, that he must rise again from the dead. Then the disciples went away again to their own homes. You might think about, as they saw and believed. And we might think about believing the evidence. They go into the tomb, and they see the claws lying there, but then they see the handkerchief, and it's folded by itself. It would have been a very odd scene that if someone had stolen the body, if soldiers had taken the body, well then why would, why would they have left the room like that? Why would they have folded the handkerchief? And so you might think about, the fact that they saw and believed. And I, I'll say this, throughout the account of the resurrection, you can tell, and I always try to make this point, belief is, belief is not necessarily a static thing. You know, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. And as it, as it progresses, you can see, because they haven't seen Jesus yet, <laughs> frankly. And so here... They, he saw, the other disciple, John, saw and believed, for as yet they did not know the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. And they went away again to their own homes. And the Lord's going to appear to them later on. And the Lord's going to present the evidence, the resurrected Jesus. They had to see, the apostles had to see the resurrected Jesus. They haven't seen him yet. So they're, they're believing, but at the same time, it's just, un, it's just unbelievable. And so they're believing, but they're going to believe more later on. But they're starting to see the evidence. They've heard testimony, and now they're starting to see evidence. Back, pardon me, not the hymn, back to the account again. Why would that cloth be folded? The handkerchief that had been around his head, not lying with the linen cloths, but folded together in a place by itself. You, might, you probably heard people speak about that. And that you might think about as Jesus was raised from the dead, as he rose from the dead, the, the Lord is orderly. And it's just interesting, you know, why would you do that? Why would you, think about that idea. Why would you fold it together and put it in a place by itself? And what I would suggest is it says something about Jesus, but it might also say something about he meant it to be a sign. As people, as he knew people would be investigating. As either he folded it or the angels folded it. Because we know what's coming up in the next verses. Mary stood outside the tomb weeping. They saw the two angels in white sitting, one at the head, the other at the feet. 
whatever the case, it's evidence. And so Peter and John are taking it in. We'll also say this, though. And this is, this is the thing. For as yet they did not know the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. And we don't want to think that we would be any better or do any better in their situation. But, you know, the Lord had told them this is what was going to happen. They did not yet know scripture. They didn't understand scripture. They didn't understand all these things that were being spoken about. You know, all of the things that they've seen. And how many times to say, but after the resurrection, they understood. Right? When it's all said and done, they understand. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Looking back on it, it's like, oh, okay, that's what that means. Oh, okay, that's what that scripture's talking about. Do you think they understood at the cross as they're casting lots for the clothing? Do you think they thought, oh, that's the verse in the Old Testament? They didn't think that. When they pierced his side, do you think they thought, oh, that fulfills that scripture? They didn't think that. They didn't think those things. The fact that he was crucified with thief on either side, did, did you think they thought, oh, that fulfills scripture? They didn't understand it. They didn't understand it. They didn't know the scriptures. The things had been written, but they weren't connecting the dots. They're just barely starting to be connected. They're believing the evidence, but again, the Lord is going to show himself. And so, as we think about these things, and we think about Christ the Lord is risen today, will we believe the evidence? Because all of these individuals are filled with doubt. It's not just doubting Thomas. They're all, none of them understood what was, none of them understood. So they're being convinced. So now the question for us is, will, be, will we be convinced with their convincing, with their being convinced? Might consider that idea. Will we believe the testimony of the witnesses? Appreciate you. Hope you had a good day. Hope you have a good day. Join us tomorrow for another portion of our daily praise.